Well, the El Fargo cargo ship, speaking of tragedies, is sinking with numerous casualties in the Caribbean. Conditions under Hurricane Joaquin were the cause. There is a new report that shows the ship deviated from its normal course and was sailing at close to full speed when it was lost. Fox News' Geraldo Rivera says this tragedy was all about the money. So, Geraldo, first of all, great to see you. Why do you say this was all about the money? Deidre, thank you. Great to see you as well. I think that they put schedule over safety. El Faro was a 40-year-old vessel. It was a rust bucket. This was the last trip the ship was going to take before they retired it for a complete refitting. This captain steered that, that ship right into the eye of that storm. He put himself north of the Bahama Islands. He had no place to turn. He should have either uh, turned back to Jacksonville, never left Jacksonville, or chose another route. I think that unless there is some uh, exculpating evidence, this is the blood of 33 mariners on the hand of this, uh, hands of this owner, Tote Marine. So let me ask you this, first and foremost, because we spoke with captains and said, how could this happen? In this day and age, with all the technology that we have, and one of the guests told us, he said, honestly, listen, sometimes when you leave a cargo ship loaded down, in a port and you have a hurricane, it's just as dangerous as going out to sea. The captain probably made the best decision he could. I absolutely disagree with that. I sailed my own boat around the world. I went to Maritime College, many of my classmates. Uh, we all had a reunion last week. A, a former captain of El Faro was at that reunion uh, from Kings Point. Uh, the Federal Academy from New York Maritime, from Maine Maritime, from Massachusetts Maritime. We lost 28 American sailors. That vessel had no business with one old engine being where it was. The chief engineer was an alumni of Maritime and, and College. And even though also. saying that he was trying to go into the eye of the storm, that is where it's calmest, right? Was he? Was it a strategic call? That is an absolutely bizarre explanation. You go into the eye of the storm, guess what? You've got the second half of the storm going to hit you as soon as you leave the relative calm of that eye. He had no business being where he was. It was these container ships are on tight schedules. Time is money. I submit the reason, Deidre, he tried to speed up and sneak over the north of the Bahama Islands to get uh, into San Juan was for scheduling purposes. And the fact that the did not abandon ship, they had two lifeboats. Those lifeboats can turn upside down every way, six ways to Sunday. Why didn't they abandon ship? The fact that they lost power is, is proof that they never should have been there in the first place. All right. Well, he, the captain, paid for it certainly with his life and unfortunately with the his The worst maritime well. disaster in over 30 years having to do with American sailors. All right. Geraldo, I know you're going to be speaking more about this. He is going to be on the O'Reilly Factor tonight. He's actually launching a brand new segment.